Uh, welcome to this tutorial. Um, I'm no expert in this, but uh, I've worked this out recently myself with databases. I'm fairly new to them. So basically in this uh, tutorial, uh, we're going to create a database, uh, look at basic HTML uh, that we're going to use to, that we want to get and put into the, um, or information we want to get from the user to put into the database. And then we're going to use uh, PHP to uh, insert that information into the, into the database. Um, so this is using cPanel. So first thing uh, you want to do is click on somewhere that says databases. I, I have a few different web um, accounts at different companies and the cPanels look slightly different but they all basically have the same uh, features somewhere. So click on databases and the first thing we want to do is click on my SQL databases. So we want to call it, uh, give the database a name. So maybe we'll just give it uh, test. So we'll call it test. Okay, so it's created. And I think we've got to go back to this one because we've now we've got to add a user. So down here somewhere. Um, okay, so username. I'm just going to put user for now and a password. Um, well, whatever you like. Um, I just might just put database password. I'm going to delete this afterwards anyway, so. All right, so I'll create a user. Obviously, user. Oh, it doesn't even match anyway. Uh, perhaps we'll just write password. It's uh, and oh, it's going to be at least twenty letters. Okay, so database password. Oh, passwords still don't match. What have I done? Just a moment. So, data base. Right, finally, goodness. All right, so it's going to create a create a user. It's just doing that now. It's just loading. Very slowly. Okay, so we're going to go back to the my SQL database again, and we've got to go down to uh, add user to database. So we'll select test and user and add, and we'll give ourselves all privileges and click on make changes. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll go back to our databases, and in the PH my admin, this is where we can add some information to the databases. Um, you might, if you're using Firefox, I find that uh, for some reason I've got to click this allow button up here to access it. Okay, on the left here, we have databases. We've got the uh, third, uh, third test. All right, so. And what do we want to do? Okay, so we'll click on that. And we want to create a table. So we'll call it um, database table. And now the columns is the information you basically want to gather. So for instance, uh, name would be one column. Email would be another column. And that's what we're just going to work with today. So we'd only need two columns. But if you want to extract further information from people where you just you can just add another column and you can add more um, later if you need to so now we'll give it a name so name and we'll change the type to text and email and we'll change it to text as well uh, you may have noticed there's all these different uh, different ones here um, I'm not sure what some of them do but uh, they do have very specific reasons for being in there um, I'm not going to go into that here uh, I'm not an expert anyway, but uh, if you wanted to look more into that, um, perhaps you can find some more information on that somewhere else. So we'll click Save. And now we've uh, created our database table. And we've got two columns there, email and mail, as we can see there. Okay, so now we're going to look at some 
the HTML now this is not a full HTML file this is just an extraction so basically what I've done is I've created a form and I've called it test it's going to uh, form action sorry test.php um, you can call the HTML file whatever you like um, so that's what it's going to do when you click the submit button it would uh, it would call that uh, that file so we've set up an input type of name and one of email um, you notice in my form it doesn't actually have a submit button or anything I've, this is very basic um, and obviously this HTML file word here would not be here all right so now let's go to our PHP file now first thing we want to do is we want to um, be able to get the information from the uh, HTML file when the submit button is pressed so we use the post so this is the um, variables I've used uh, you can use whatever you like now below that is actually where the database part starts happen, ha um, happening so uh, the host name is usually uh, found to be localhost uh, the username we created if you remember was uh, first uh, user uh, the password which we're having trouble with um, was database password the database name uh, actually I don't think we called it that uh, let's go back let's see if we can find it I think we called it test uh, oh, just, oh just that that is test that's the name of the database so we'll, we'll grab that so we the correct thing All right so that's the database name and I think the table name we actually called database table let's go back to confirm that uh, actually I've got it over here oh yeah database table as you can see there all right so database table okay so the next line here is how we're going to connect so I'm not an expert again in PHP in any way, it's just found this to, to work and I found some information on the internet. So we create a link, um, we call this here, this my uh, SQLI connect, and the variable here, hostname, refers to this one here, localhost, username, and so forth. So that's basically making the connection, finding the database and making the connection. Um, the next bit down uh, is looking to see if, if the link fails, and if it does, uh, just uh, Echo's uh, error could not connect. Um, now, hopefully, if it's all set up correctly, we that won't be called ever. So we'll be moving to the next part. So this is the information where we want to try and insert um, the information into our, our database that we've got from the HTML. So the variable here is uh, question. Uh, sorry, not question. Uh, dollar sign SQL equals insert into user table. User table. Um, defined up here database table it's a name okay and the name here um, uh, that was from that that's actually referring to our database if you remember we had name and email that's actually th those two variables are actually not referring to the HTML or the PHP they're actually specifically referring to the database and the values here and name and email and they're referring to the, these post items that we got from the H um, HTML file um, something to be careful of here that if I put name here but I put email as the first one um, well basically what would happen is which I think is pretty obvious is that your, the email address that we've got would actually go into the name column and vice versa the the, uh, the email column would accept the name if we switch those around so they actually need to be in order um, in the correct order uh, they don't actually need to be in correct order as the way you've inserted them actually into the database but in the PHP file um, uh, yeah, each each uh, each thing has to be in the right position. So the line after that is uh, just checking to see whether it all um, went ahead. Um, here I've got uh, the echo. It's actually commented out at the moment. So if it all goes through, okay, it just echoes this. Uh, it's probably good to have that on for testing, and otherwise we get this uh, error. And the very last line is where we're going to close the connection which is just uh, my SQLI underscore close link and that's the basics of it um, so hopefully that you find that helpful as I said I'm no expert but I found that this works for me so um, 
yeah, well, hopefully it's a starting point for you. So, um, yeah, good luck.